When Eduardo Barreda and his brothers started doing construction work on the California military base, they thought it would lead them to the success their parents envisioned years ago when they brought them to this country. The brothers Eduardo, Abel, and Alfredo say their American dream has been stunted by pay schemes that have cheated them out of wages and driven them into the underground economy. I feel like we've been getting treated unfairly, that uh, they shouldn't take advantage of people like this. It really affects like not just them, but like the whole family. And, and, and I like what I do, that's what I, what I like. I like to do construction. Believe it or not, sometimes I'm uh, crying because it's not fair. It's not fair. You know, this guy, he have good stuff. Maybe he, because he go to the school, whatever, but I feel, I feel bad. And I just, for me, for my kids, The McClatchy investigation found that in some states, as many as a third of construction workers have been wrongly classified as independent contractors instead of employees. The problem extends from California to Washington, D.C., and costs taxpayers billions of dollars. But for Alfredo Barreda, it's about family. Yes, um, we do, we can with the work that, we ha that he had, we're not, you know, we can uh, decide to have a stable place or you know actually like yeah it, it affects us and we can't buy a home you know because his job is never stable. It would be different if I would get paid or what I'm supposed to be getting paid. I don't think we'll be near where we at. We should be moved somewhere else with better area, you know, we can you know feel better life for our kids. But right here in this area is it's one of the worst services you can live in this and some random value, we should have moved somewhere else and, you know, take the kids to a better school, stuff like that. The family is now looking for a fresh start, maybe a new city, where Alfredo will actually be paid for all the work that he does.